Hey guys, welcome to the video. Hey, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You're gonna enjoy this video, you're gonna enjoy this DIY, you're gonna enjoy all my other 70 plus videos around the BMW N54 in general, but it also spans into some other uh, E90 specific things. So today's video is the DIY of this product, which is the Burger Motorsports oil catch can. And if you haven't already seen my unboxing of this product, Go ahead, I'm gonna put a link here at the top. Go ahead, please be sure to check that out. Looking to buy one, burgertuning.com, place your order today. But I'm gonna walk you through the DIY steps to do it. It's not too bad. Uh, it is a tight space to try to get the hose right and all that kind of stuff, but you can do it. I printed off the instructions, the PDF. It's right on the website. I'll put a link in the description as far as to direct you right to that so it makes it easy. Print it off in color so that way you can actually see everything and uh, visualize where exa actually it's at. So let's go ahead and get started with the DIY and we can get going. All right, the first part of the DIY, eight millimeter. Uh, you can use an extension. Usually it's the easiest, but you're gonna want to take off. <clears throat> you're gonna want to take off the cabin filter. those screws you have that done take that out put it aside go ahead and take off the washer line from the clip pull this back pull this back this little clip right here in the front and go ahead and disconnect uh, your sensor here set that aside clip front and back that off that aside come over here disconnect your BMW alarm if you already have it Put that aside undo that piece and then same thing on this side just kind of get your hands in here clip it on then you have two eight millimeter screws on each side to hold the cow on Go ahead and remove those. To release the cables from the actual cow, just take a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna stick it up in there. And it usually just pulls right down. Here's your, take a flathead screwdriver. Just snap, snap, snap. This is where you're gonna pull your cables through. Just pull them out of the thing. That way you can remove the actual cow itself. Okay, with that removed, you're gonna pull out and up. And you wanna be careful because there's a little clip right here. You don't want that, you don't wanna break that. Set the cow aside. Uh, now you have this all exposed. I'm just using, but this is a 3 16th uh, little bit here. Just unscrew these. Let's show a second one here. Usually you have four, two more in the back. I leave the two off in the back just to get another thing that you need to kind of replace and you don't even need to really, to do, you don't even need to mess with that at all. So there you go. Put your cover aside. Uh, we will need to cut this back in here, so we'll have to do that. Here's where your PCV valve is, and where the piece we'll need to take off, and then we'll need to take it off over here. So this is where we run it over on this side, and then it bypasses that. So we'll go ahead and get started on actual removing it. All right, guys, just so I show you what I did here, uh, Definitely be patient. Uh, these clips can be very tricky to get out, but uh, I was able to get it out. And what I did, so I have some rags around here to help really uh, catch a screwdriver if it goes down in here or what. You're gonna undo this piece here, basically prying up on the actual top of the tab. And I used another bottom screwdriver uh, flathead at the same time to do it and then with trying to hold both of those in motion pull it out 
Now when I got over to this side, it's the same concept uh, with it actually on. So you want to, uh, same thing again, right? Uh, do the flathead screwdriver, flathead screwdriver underneath and then on top and then pull right out. So when you actually pull it out, this is the stock PCV hose. Uh, and to do the oil catch can, we need to actually remove this actual flapper. You won't be able to really hear in here, but <clears throat> there's a flapper in here uh, that will move back and forth with vacuum. All right, so what I'm doing here is just heating up the plastic with the hair dryer. Uh, that way you can get the actual flapper valve off of the hose because this hose you do not need. So you just gotta keep heating it up, heating it up, uh, just so you have enough just so it loosens the plastic enough for you to pull it right off. Uh, so I was able to remove the hose. Uh, this is also really, uh, it was also a struggle just because of the mileage on my car. I have 145,000 miles on it. And it, uh, as you can tell here, it was really stuck on really good. Uh, heated up pretty good uh, to be able to pull the plastic piece off. It started breaking and chipping. Like I said, with my mileage on my car, uh, I guess I expect that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this in the car, connect it back up. I'm gonna clean this off a little bit, connect it back up, and then uh, route the hoses, and then we should be pretty much good to go. And slip this on the PCV flapper. Snake my hose right through here. Get some uh, actual measurements before I click it in. Do all that. It's right here. So this end will go just like this. It's exceed the stock it's stock um, sealness. The stock sizes. Did here is I got I got the back, or I got the loop hose right here, connected right to the intake track. Uh, it's out. It's on the out portion. I'm just ready to get this mounted up. I'm just kind of testing it out here as far as fitment goes. Uh, now I'm going to get the other hose. I may have to cut this one down a little bit, which that's what they recommend. Also, by the way, uh, there are no clamps required for this install on, all, on any of these fittings. So I'm just kind of seeing, uh, tells you in the install uh, is that they give you a little bit more hose than normal. I measured it out to be about right here, uh, but I am actually gonna cut a little bit shorter. So kind of around where the, says the USA at. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this around here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the actual catch can. All right, let's go ahead and put the bracket on. Get the bracket right on here. Uh, it can slide a little bit. We won't get it super tight yet. Go ahead and tighten. This is it. Tighten it here on the strut brace. And go ahead and put our flapper valve back connected again. Until it connects, clicks in there good.
One thing that you'll actually need to do with the, uh, the actual cover is you need to cut it along. You gotta cut this strip off right here. Uh, once you do so, it won't it won't hit this back hose here right here because this hose is a lot thicker and it's kind of and it's right in the way. All right, so what I did is I took my sharp scissors and I cut the plastic right off. Uh, a lot of it did break evenly, so that's good. But with that actually broken off, now it is perfect. No issues. It just rests a little bit against the hose. But other than that, it is a nice snug fit. And it actually fits. And also clears the other hose that's there. And you'll be good to go. All right, guys, that concludes the video for today. Hopefully you found it informative. Uh, it is an easy install. Uh, like, like you noticed in the video, it is a tight space to try to get the hoses around and all that kind of stuff like I mentioned. But at the end of the day, it's going to help prolong the life of your N54 engine and uh, really kind of help get the, that oil off of the charge piping and also off of your intake valves. If you're looking to buy one, pick one up today, uh, burgertuny.com. I'll put the direct link in there. It takes you right to the webpage. Just go ahead and add it to your cart and order right away. Uh, you'll have extremely fast shipping. Those guys ship things out unbelievably fast and also the support around them as far as if you do have questions if you buy the product from them they'll be able to respond at a moment's notice so that is definitely another good thing right there as always please be sure to subscribe like and comment if you haven't already done so check you out on the next video take care guys